Mr. Coyne here from Coyle Maths. Today we're going to be looking at the rates of change in terms of differentiation at higher maths in Scotland. So the derivative of a function describes the rate of change of the function. This can be evaluated using specific values by substituting them into the derivative. So if we know the derivative and we want to find the rate of change at a specific point, say x equals 2, we can just substitute 2 in. Similarly, later on, we'll see that we can also do that with the gradient of the tangent, which means the same thing as the rate of change. Let's look at some examples. Okay, so the first example says, given that f of x is 2x to the power of 5 for x a member of real, find the rate of change when x equals 3. So this is nice and simple to start with. We can straight away say f of x is 2x to the 5. We need to differentiate it to find the rate of change. So f dash x is 10x to the 4. When f dash a 3 then... So f dash 3 equals 10 times 3 to the power of 4. So we need to work out 10 times 3 to the power of 4. We can use the calculator for that. 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is 27 times 3 is 81 times an extra 10 makes 810. So our rate of change is 810 at x equal to 3. Let's look at this in some context then, looking at the context of displacement acceleration and velocity. Velocity is the rate of change of displacement with respect to time. So in other words, if I wanted to write that as a formula, velocity would equal ds by dt, or in other words, v of t would equal s dash of t, right? Same with acceleration. Acceleration would define as the rate of change of velocity with respect to time. It's how velocity changes over time. So acceleration must be dv by dt, or a of t is v dash of t. And we can do some examples where we need to work out velocity or we need to work out acceleration. And you'll need to know that that means to differentiate because this is to find the rate of change. A ball is thrown so that its displacement, s metres after t seconds, is given by this formula. s of t is 12t minus 5t squared. We have to find the velocity after two seconds. So we know that the velocity with respect to time is equal to differentiating the displacement with respect to time. So the velocity is just equal to, if I differentiate this function, 12 minus 10t. And we want it after 2 seconds, so we can substitute 2 into this. So v of 2 is equal to 12 minus 10 times 2. That's 12 minus 20, which is minus 8. And since we've been given units in our question, we give units in our answers, so that's metres per second. Example three, the value of an investment is calculated using the formula V of t is the square root of t cubed, where v is the value of an investment and t is the time in years. We have to calculate the growth rate, and it tells us that means the rate of change of the investment after nine years. So it mentions the rate of change, so we need to differentiate our formula. So V of t is equal to the square root of t cubed. We need to get that ready to differentiate, so that means it's t to the power of 3 halves. So v dash is equal to 3 over 2 t to the half, taking away 1. And we want that after 9 years, so we can just substitute 9 into this. So it's v dash of 9 is 3 over 2 times 9 to the power of a half. Now we should just assume we're doing non-calculator. So that's 3 over 2 times the square root of 9, which is 3 over 2 times 3, which is 9 over 2. So the value of our investment after 9 years is 9 over 2. That's what we're going to look at today. We're going to start looking at the gradient of a tangent to a curve. If I draw a curve here, we know that we can find the gradient at a specific point, and that gives us, we could draw a tangent, a line that just touches that point. The gradient then would be the same as the rate of change. It changes by, uh, go along x, y changes by some number. If we go for every x, y changes. So at a specific point, we can find the gradient or at the point or the gradient of the tangent, which is the same as finding the rate of change. So if we differentiate, we find the gradient of the tangent. If given a point, we know the gradient of the tangent or the rate of change at that point. Example 4 then says, find the gradient of the tangent of the curve with equation y equals 3x squared at the point 5, 2. 
So we know that y equals 3x squared. We've got that power word gradient of the tangent. So we do the y by dx, which is equal to 6x. And then we know the point's 5, 2. So at x equal to 5, the y by dx equals 6 times 5, which is 30. So our gradient is equal to 30 at the point x equal to 5. If we've now wanted to find the equation of the tangent at this point, we could substitute into y minus b equals mx minus a. And that's exactly what we'll do next lesson. This has been Claire Master. Today we've been looking at the rate of change of a function and how to find the rate of change by differentiation. Take care, stay safe, and goodbye.